Hey folks, I came across kind of this animated AI video on TikTok with 8 million views. Perhaps you're interested in making it for your own channel or making your own AI channel. Or like me, I like kind of seeing what I could do to showcase some of my travels. I just got back from Italy trip um, and now I'm showcasing here, kind of stitching together some of the scenes on a tram gondola ride. Um, but whatever your purpose is, there's a technology called WAN, which animates videos, photos, um, images to videos. I just wanted to showcase how you could get this running. Of course, if you follow me on my channel, you know I do laptop reviews, um, primarily focus on gaming, but one of the purposes, at least from NVIDIA, is very powerful to make kind of AI content. So let's get into that right now. So one of the first things you'll have to Google search, and I'll leave links in the description, is Comfy UI. I'm running this locally. There are cloud versions of ways to run this, which I'll talk about in separate videos. But for the most part, I just wanted to showcase kind of the full functionality to get up and started running uh, kind of what you need to run for what I showcased. So when you click on the side on the left, there's a way to get started with a template. If you search WAN, there's WAN, WAN, first and last image. So when, the nice thing about Comfy is that once you load it up, it literally kind of um, tells you everything you need to download. Um, so once you get it all downloaded, um, there is a tweak that I personally use in terms of running on my RTX 4080. I can't support uh, kind of getting fully uh, loading the diffuser model. So you run basically worse versions. And if you double click, you could open a window called GGUF. Once you download the appropriate um, Again, I'll leave links, don't worry. Um, but you simply just kind of connect everything. So everything's based on this workflow type thing where it's drag and drop and then connect boxes with lines. And I know okay, it's not confusing, but the most important parts are basically just downloading the, these files, which are basically um, quote unquote lower quality versions. And I find that my RTX 4080 can run kind of the most uh, like eight gigabyte file. Um, so then kind of from there, you know, there's a lot to look at. I'm just going to kind of showcase, in my opinion, the most important parts. You could load these images. You just quickly upload image um, for the first image and last image of what you want to do. And then you try to describe how the, the, the it's going to be a five second video running at 16 frames per second, kind of how that runs. There was this helpful link that I found. Um, and I'm still tweaking and learning, of course, how to exactly prompt everything I want to, but I, you'll see later in this video, it doesn't always work as well. Um, I actually had it better when I posted it on Instagram. Now I'm recreating the video after the fact. But the idea is that I, you know, I'm trying to recreate is that it's like a, a drone or a, a, they call it like fly cam transition. I saw someone on Reddit post this. Um, but anyways, you'll see here. Um, you know, really what I wanted to get from this scene to the next scene is like flying over, you know, my wife on the right, get, heading towards the building, and then the building morphs into a gondola. It's kind of, you know, I had it. I don't exactly remember the exact prop I did. Um, but then from there, on the bottom of the screen, there's a run. If you don't have things set up, it'll tell you you need to download. So here, of course, um, I'll, I need to connect the GGF loader to the thing and then also make one for the high and low noise. Um, so I'm kind of throwing a lot at you. Um, I will say that I will leave a JSON prompt where you can actually load it yourself if you don't want to click through and it has the the, um, the things kind of pre-configured. Uh, so with that said, you know, the thing is based on the prompt and how it interprets it. For some reason I was getting bad prompts for this video. I, I felt like when I was making the Instagram, I was like, I was one-shotting these prompts. Um, Anyways, we can showcase um, that when you're making these, um, you know, just keep playing around with the prompts. So one thing about the UI is it lets you preview previous generations. One thing I wish it did is track generations to the text prompt, but you could use Notepad and save files to kind of keep track of what you generated is my two cents. And then basically, if you want to create uh, similar to the videos I made, where it keeps going from one shot to the next, you simply take the last image from the last generation and make that the first image and then upload the next uh, last image and image. So here we go from the beginning scenes into the gondola and then from gondola to me on the mountain. And then you write a prompt to kind of transition again. And of course, this isn't what was showcased on Instagram. I'm trying to re-remember what my prompt is, but you can see here a pretty decent seamless transition to me on the mountain. 
and you can always uh, kind of preview and retweak as needed. So really, this is a high level overview, what I wanted to showcase of how to make these kinds of content. Um, from here, you would stitch all of them. I use Final Cut to piece them all together. It's, I'm kind of showcasing here in my timeline, going from one video to the next. Um, and so, you know, similar to what I intro this video with and TikTok, basically they got an image of Tommy McGuire and then a later image of him and then put that on TikTok and that had 8 million views. So depending on what your goal is on making these types of content, um, yeah, let me know, leave some comments below. See you guys in the next video.